Some viruses can survive for several kilometers in air. That's why this prototype is important. This device has the potential to work better, uh, faster, and more cheaply than a conventional air filter. For humans, when we shake hands or when we kiss or when someone sneezes around you, all of those are different routes, potential routes of transmission of a virus or a bacterium. But for livestock, we can kind of narrow down the potential routes of transmission for some of these livestock diseases, really down to just preventing transmission of viruses and bacteria that are transmitted in the air from the outside to the inside of a barn. This particular project is focused on transmission of an infectious disease that infects pigs. We're going to a pork producer, a pig farmer, where they know they have sick pigs and so we want to test on the air, exhausted from that building, the efficacy of our prototype device. So a non-thermoplasma is very similar to a flame, it's just that it doesn't have the high temperature. The technology has a long history, but this is just kind of a new use for it. Power plants use a version of the same technology to prevent particles from being emitted to the atmosphere. The approach that we're using, non-thermoplasmas, is effective not only in killing viruses and bacteria in the air, which we've proven in the lab, but can also show that it prevents disease. I really get excited about solutions to existing problems. The focus on agriculture has been very fruitful. I think for us the next phase will be human applications. How can we miniaturize what we do at a barn scale or at a building scale down to the point where we get to a device that you can wear.